Alex Payne. Oh, good glazed windows. Oh, uh, yes, that's right. You're not the man I spoke to on the phone. Mr. Mathers, he can't make it as busy. It's a bit messy. Give him for being an hour late. Oh, I think I can forgive a man almost anything when he looks that cute. <laughs> oh, never has a greasy spot looked so endearing. Oh, yeah. Izzy wanted to share her breakfast with me. Oh, well, go and sort yourself out then. Thank you. She's not that heavy. I slept on the sofa. Yeah, yeah, well, that goes with the territory. Come on, little Izzy. <clears throat> This is our tilt and turn product, but we also have casement and um, fully reversible windows. Fully reversible? Well, you can turn it all the way around. It makes cleaning the outside easier. Uh, I, my window cleaner does the outside. Now, who could that be? I'll, I'll get it. I'm so sorry. How could I forget? I'll wait in the car. And I thought you looked forward to my visits. <laughs> Your windows. Mm. Well, make sure you get plenty of quotes. Right? The double glazing business is like Texas. Full of cowboys. Oh, I couldn't sit through another presentation. They're so boring. Half the time I don't know what he's on about. What do you think? Uh, I think this would take more than ten minutes to look through and I need to do a blood sample. Can't you get your nephew to help? Oh, he'll take over. He thinks I'm batty. Don't worry, I'll manage. How did you find these guys, anyway? A volunteer at the day centre recommended them. Or was it the milkman? Look, Ida, I don't want to worry you, all right? But you need to be careful, OK? Promise me you'll get someone to check over the figures before you buy. You wouldn't know of anyone, would you? Mm. You're too busy with your girlfriend to keep checking old ladies' paperwork. Uh, I should be so lucky. I think she's too busy to even take my calls. I know, maybe she'd be more attentive if I started hanging out with another woman, eh? <laughs> Archie, would you do me a big favour when you leave? Tell him I'm not feeling very well. You're right, I should have someone here with me. How's it going? OK. Wrong answer. You sound like a right misery guts. I want charm. I want upbeat. I want Granny's best friend. Now smile at the old dear and make a little joke about the boss checking up on you. She's not here. I'm in the car. You can't tell the windows from the car. She's with the nurse. What have you done? I haven't done anything. Don't be funny with me, mate. It's not like your temper hasn't got the better of you before now, is it? She had an appointment. She forgot he was coming. Play your cards right. Maybe you'll get her to pay twice. I didn't take this job to swindle people. No, oh, Alex. You took the job because employees aren't exactly queuing up to hire convicted murderers. It was manslaughter. Oh, sorry. Manslaughter. He's still dead. I'm a reasonable man. I put a roof over your head, gave you the job, training. But I can say an unreasonable real quick if you get me drift. Do you get me drift, Alex? She get back to our little old lady. Minta, does she? I don't know. We'll get back in there and find out. Hi, how 
I've got a PCT meeting soon, so you're going to have to take her. She's sleeping now, but she was inconsolable when she left her daddy. OK. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, it's a sling. Found it in lost property. Been there for months. I'm amazed what people leave behind, actually. Any news from Mum yet? Uh, well, I've narrowed it down a bit, but numbers now. Hmm. Well, <laughs> good luck. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry you're not feeling well. The thing is, it's my first day in the job. You're my only appointment. Well, you'd better go through then. I'll put the kettle on. Oh, thanks. Age 24, occupation student. Yep, postgrad. Can you confirm your date of birth? Yes. The 14th or the 10th, 1984. Are you taking any medication or prescription drugs? No. No surgical procedures in the last three years? No. Well, unless you count the triple bypass. <laughs> What's the point? It's all on the form. This is a drugs trial. I suggest you start taking it seriously. He's still on his rounds, I'm afraid. Can I take a message? Oh, hold on. He's here now. OK. Kirsten. Hello. Archie, can you come back? Ida, you all right? Yes. Only I've done something very silly. He's still here. With the salesman? Yes. What's he done? No, no, no. He's fine. I just don't think I want new windows after all. Could you pop back and tell him that your friend has offered to do it for me? I'd just ask him to leave. You don't have to have an excuse. Oh, Archie, please. I feel so guilty. He's been here all morning. Oh, I can't come now. I'm supposed to be on duty. Just tell him to go. I have to go. He's coming back. Right, well, uh, just tell him you've got another appointment if you have to. All right, and let me know when he's gone. I'd recommend you replace all of the windows in the house. They're in pretty bad shape. Oh, dear. I don't think I'll be able to afford all that. I'm the mess. The, the installation causes minimum disruption, and I'm sure we can come up with a good price for you. But well, we've got to stop. I've run out of medication. It won't take much longer. I, I'm, I'm diabetic. I, I have to take my pills on time. Um, taxi for the, the chemist in town. You won't need a cab. I'll take you. Was he threatening her? Uh, no, I don't think so. Come on, Ida, where are you? She probably thinks she's always company calling. They'd want to know why she chucked him out, wouldn't they? Well, what if she hasn't chucked him out? She knows, so, doesn't she? Well, if he hasn't plugged the phone up. <laughs> Why would he do that? If he wants to badger a little old lady in peace, I don't know. Look, I've known Ida for a while now, all right? She's not been herself recently. She doesn't need this. Voicemail. Yeah, I'm a friend of Ida Wright's, Parish Street. I believe one of your salespersons is with her now. Ida does not want to continue with the presentation, so would you contact him and tell him to leave immediately? Thank you. You don't think you're overreacting at all? Have you not seen the papers recently? Comment prone on the elderly. All right, well, now you've done your good deed for the day. Do you think you might be able to see a patient or two? So would you contact him and tell him to leave immediately? Thank you. Mr. Mavis? Can't I have a lunch break without you screwing up? I'm still with Mrs. Wright. So who's the geezer leaving stroppy messages on my voicemail? I don't 
don't know. Are you in a bar? Out shopping. Mrs. Wright needed to pick up her medication. You're a double glaze and say I was not Florence Flame and Nightingale. You said she'd be more likely to buy it if she likes me. Now, you big buddies, hurry up and close the sale before she knits you a jumper. Call me for the discounts in 20 minutes or you're off the job. I don't want to rush things. It's been four hours. It'll be worth the wait. She's... She's got 60 grand in the bank. Are you sure? I've seen a statement. Well, why didn't you say? With that kind of money, she can get the full works. Has she got a conservatory? Make sure she gets a conservatory. What if she doesn't want a conservatory? I don't give a monkey's what she wants. Uh, let's see how it goes. Listen, get in town. Get her to the bank and make sure she withdraws a deposit, a big cash deposit. How am I supposed to do that? you got eight levels. Use your noodle. But... Uh, <laughs> it's like this, my friend. I want a 50 grand order and a 10% cash deposit by the end of today. Or you're jobless and homeless. Sorry to keep you. You OK? It's my blood sugar levels. I have to eat something. There's a cafe in the supermarket. Look, we, we could stock up on groceries, if you like. While we're there, I, I don't suppose you get much chance to shop. I don't want to be any trouble. Well, it's no trouble. I've got the car. She's playing hard to get. What? Kirsten, she's keeping you keen. I wasn't calling Kirsten. All right. First time. That obvious. Uh, don't worry about it, it's a piece of cake. Once they've sorted out all the paperwork, anyway. Yeah, they had to sacrifice a forest or three for those forms. <laughs> for one horrible moment, I thought I'd have to fill them in again. They booted me off after the last round. So, how did you...? Uh, it's my way back in. It takes more than a dizzy spell to get me off the gravy train. I'm Mark. Mark. Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm so sorry. I, I thought I had enough cash on me. I know you're good for it. Oh, I'll pop you around to the bank if you like. Oh, thank you. I, I hate owing money. Why don't you take some extra cash out? Extra? Yeah, a deposit for the windows. I can get you a big discount if you put some money down today. Let me think it over. Mark, you can't go ahead with the trial. Are you kidding? Your life could be in danger if you take these drugs. She likes it. It's dangerous. But you're going to take it. So have you warned anybody else? You're the only one that's had a reaction. <laughs> How do you know? It's just not worth the risk. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. Please, listen to me. Why do you think they kicked you off after the last round? Well, they took me back on again, didn't they? Well, they shouldn't have. They're taking a terrible risk with your health. Do you want to end up on life support, brain damage, in an institute for the rest of your life? Look, they don't care about you and me. When things go wrong, they just cover up the mistakes and they start again. Money. That's the bottom line. And these drugs, it's going to make them millions. They think they can destroy people's lives and just get away with it. Finished. I need to show you something. Look, wait! This way. You're sure? I'll deal with her. I'm sorry about this. She's a known activist. Please, carry on. Get her Get out, out of me. Don't do it! Get off Get me! Get her out! <laughs> do something! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Me. I'm off. lighting up. I'm just having a laugh. Just wait here. <laughs> Pull a stunt like that again and it'll be a police matter. You're the criminals. If 
found anything. According to this, there's a seven-day calling-off period if you purchase the goods at home, provided the original contact is unsolicited. So if the worst comes to the worst, she can just contact the window. She contacted them. You're in luck. He's here. Ada was worried she might have missed you. Archie, you've been so good to me. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I hope I didn't worry you earlier. He's only been calling all afternoon. <laughs> Why didn't you answer the phone? We've been in town. I'd have needed to pick up a few things. Oh, we've had such a lovely time. Yeah, you've been hours. You wouldn't believe how busy it is and the queue in the bank. Bank? Yeah. What were you doing at the bank? I had to get some money out for Alex. Give it back. You don't understand. I do understand. Now give it back. Stop it. Alex has done nothing wrong. I had to borrow some money from him. I had to pay it back, that's all. But if you're up to something... He took me shopping. He bought me lunch. He's been very kind. Yeah, well, sometimes people are kind because they want you to trust them. Alex isn't like that. Well, uh, I expect you want to get back to work. I don't think name-calling is going to help particularly. Well, you seem to like my adolescent addiction to all things carnal the last time we met. Look, yeah, did you or did you not abandon a seven-month-old baby at my place of work? Well, I hope that wasn't Izzy's mother. Crossed her off the list. They're all crossed off. You must have forgotten someone. Well, look at that. This one's lovely. What do you think? It's not too big? You'll have plenty of room to do your sewing. <laughs> How much would it be with the windows? Includes the discount. I can't afford that, Alex. Let me have a word with my boss. See if I can get it down. Mr. Mathers, it's Alex. <clears throat> Did you get the deposit? Yeah, yeah. She she really likes the product. She's not so keen on the price. Clever boy. Didn't think you had it in you. How much did you get? Five big ones. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Come on, you can do better than that, Mr. Mathers. Five grand in cash. Not bad. She'd like a conservatory if the price is right. But 45,000 is still too much. Tell you what, get the whole lot in cash and you can knock a bit more off. We'll give you a 10,000 pound discount for full payment in cash. Steady, that's my profit you're spending. 15,000. 25. For my dead body. 25,000 or nothing. What's going on? Mrs. Wright wants a 50% discount. It is her birthday next week. Are you insane? Mrs. Wright has decided not to proceed. Mrs. Wright doesn't get that luxury in no school. Now change your mind. I, I don't think I can. Stop whining and get on with it, all right? Alex! I'm coming over. I'm not still fretting over Ida's new pal up here. Selling windows will make you a bad person, you know. That's not funny. <laughs> ah, at least she's all right, I suppose. Time for surgery. Yeah, OK. It's the salesman. I just collapsed. She just got ill. Ida, are you all right? Ida, can you hear me? Get rid of him. Alex, can you get us some water, please? What's happened? Don't worry, I'm fine. Now listen, I need a favour. I want you to tell him I'm OK and then leave. I thought you were ill. Shh, it's just an act. 
I need you to hide outside. There's a man arriving soon. Give it ten minutes and then let yourself in. I have been worried sick all day and you're pulling some sort of stunt. Well, if you're after a discount, you can do it on your own. Mrs. Wright, Ida, please accept my apologies. Alex here hasn't done a very good job explaining the product, but now you're talking to the top man. I'm prepared to make you a one-off special offer. All your windows, plus a new conservatory for £35,000 if you're paying cash today. But that's such a lot of money. Perhaps I could sleep on it. I said today only, Ida. Oh, dear. Well, in that case, I, I won't be going forward. That's a big shame, Ida. If you pull out now, you'll have to pay a cancellation fee. But I haven't ordered anything. Yeah, but you've taken up my time and my salesman's time. Time is money, Ida. So if you're sure you won't be accepting my very generous offer, we'll call it quits of £5,000. <laughs> She's already collapsed today, Colin. You can't... Shut it! Where's the money? Okay. Leave my things alone. Don't! She's terrified! Where's the five grand deposit? Alex. There is no five grand! Leave her alone! Help me out here. Can't. Alex. Last time I helped out, someone died! Hey, all right, now calm down. Take it easy. Oh, excellent timing. I could do with some help. Uh, no, that's one pile of poo you'll have to clean up on your own. Think of it as divine justice for past misdemeanours. Yeah. Cute. Looks like it's me and you, kiddo. Oh, dear. You're fired. Deception, intimidation, assault. I doubt you'll have a business after this, Mr. Mavers. Oh, shut up, Grandma. Alex, would you pass the aspidistra for me, please? A very dear friend of mine was pushed into spending her life savings on a vastly overpriced and badly installed conservatory. Do you remember Mrs. Purcell? No. Well, she remembers you, but she's too ill and too scared to take things further. Fortunately, I'm a bit more robust. And I have video evidence. Use it and your new best friend goes down with me. I doubt it. Alex has been totally respectful and kind throughout. I went through your things. I'm so sorry. A bit of harmless snooping. You're a decent man, Alex. I know you wouldn't cheat me. That's why I tried to get rid of you. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later once you found out I had a few, Bob. I want you out tonight. I cannot believe you put yourself at risk like that. I knew you'd come through for me, Archie. Would you like to be my muscle again? There's a dodgy plumber I've got my eye on. I already have a job, thank you. Alex? I don't do muscle. Ah, yes. Somebody died. I was 19. This lad was having a go to mate, so I thumped him. He hit his head in the pavement. Two days later, he was dead. It was a stupid, drunken scuffle. What happened? Pleaded guilty to manslaughter. Got out two months ago, moved into one of Colin's properties. I was well chuffed when he offered me a job. I did. I had no idea. I can't help with the work situation. But can I interest you in a, a room? It's a bit drafty. A window needs replacing. Maybe you know someone? <laughs> oh, I 
before she had the camera. <laughs> come on, give me, give me. Hello, my little angel. You want to come to your Auntie Melody? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Shh, shh, shh. Come on. Oh, so that's how you get women swooning at your feet, is it? It's her favourite thing. <laughs> I haven't actually tried it on anyone else yet. <laughs> You're really getting the hang of this daddy thing, aren't you? Melody, I'm not cut out to be a father. OK? I'm off to Greece on Friday and there's no way I'm taking a baby with me. So get as mushy as you like. But by the end of the week, this little one's going back to her mother or social services and that is it. on your way out? I cannot believe you have been so stupid. Not to mention lying to me. Because I knew how you'd react exactly like this. Goodbye, Isabel. And good luck. It's a long shot next on BBC One Scotland as Mark Sloan reunites with an old friend to solve an old case in Diagnosis Murder. <laughs>